Have you ever been in a relationship or had someone around you who was in a relationship? Did you think about certain aspects of the relationship, not knowing if it makes it stronger or weaker? In today's world, where most of us are either surrounded by relationships or are in a relationship ourselves, it can be hard to identify what makes a strong relationship and what doesn't. To help you with that, these are seven things strong relationships have in common. Number one, communication. It is rightly said that communication is key. If there is a gap in communication, you may not be able to express your wants and needs to your partner and vice versa. Not being able to communicate properly leaves room for misunderstandings, which isn't something that one might want in a strong relationship. Telling your partner how you feel as soon as you notice something is the best approach to be open with them. Don't wait for it to go away. Discuss it so you can begin working on a solution instead of hoping it'll resolve itself. Number two, trust. Trust is one of the core components of a relationship and must be there in a strong relationship. When two people trust each other, they give each other and themselves a sense of confidence and empowerment. Trusting your partner will help your relationship in overcoming several obstacles along the way because they know that no matter what, you've got their back and vice versa. Number three, compromise. No relationship will have zero fights or arguments. Every individual is different and has their own set of thoughts and opinions which another person may not understand. However, wherever possible, it's crucial to strive to find win-win solutions that will satisfy both you and your partner. Try to find a way to build a path forward with some form of solution that feels like a fair compromise to everyone. In those moments, having a common understanding of what compromise really means is both healthy and necessary for the relationship to thrive. Number four, alone time. Have you ever spent so much time with someone that you sometimes just want a few minutes to yourself? If your partner is always reliant on you for organizing arrangements with friends and family, or even just planning date nights, and you want more independence in the relationship, it could lead to conflict. For example, some people require more alone time to relax, whereas others are more of a social butterfly who feeds off the energy of others. If you belong to the former type of people and feel guilty about not spending time with your partner, there's no need to feel guilty about spending time alone. Couples, regardless of how close they are, benefit from independence and alone time. After spending some time away from each other and taking time to do activities that make you feel good, both you and your partner will feel revived and in a better mindset. Number five, a common goal. Relationships that are held together by a common purpose and vision for what they can achieve are the most meaningful and strong relationships. When two people share a common goal, they feel like they're part of a team and they're more likely to stick together. Even if you're dissatisfied with the person with whom you are in a relationship, if you have a common goal, you're much more inclined to stick it out and find a way to make things work. Purpose builds relationships. And when you go out of your way to find it, your relationship improves and strengthens. Number six, forgiveness. Holding on to baggage weighs heavily on any relationship. Resentment, dissatisfaction, and frustration when left unresolved, deplete trust and drain your energy. When you can communicate how you feel and let it go, you know you're in a strong relationship. You can overlook flaws and shortcomings. You help each other out. You move on after learning from your experiences. And number seven, you uplift each other. In a strong relationship, two people constantly support each other and help one another grow into a better version of themselves. In the long run, uplifting each other will also help your relationship flourish. Does your relationship have any of these traits? Or maybe you see it in your friend's relationship. Love comes in several ways, and someone who you love may not come with these traits, but that doesn't mean they aren't a good partner. Find ways to work on these things together to have a stronger and healthier relationship with your partner. Do you think we missed something? Let us know in the comments down below. Please like and share this with friends that might find insight in this video as well. Make sure to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content. All the references used are in the description box below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.